My name is Rachel Sylvester. I'm the founder of Sidewalk Specials. Sidewalk Specials started about five years ago and we started by rescuing dogs off euthanasia lists. The dogs that were coming through the euthanasia list were in such a bad condition. I wanted to find out where they were coming from, like what possible homes could have all these mangy sick dogs. We took a pile of vets and equipment out to the townships and ran our first Steri Drive, which was basically just bringing veterinary care to townships that don't have it. We went from being a euthanasia list rescue to a mass sterilization rescue. The numbers are growing rapidly and our means are sort of depleting rapidly and the combination is, is, is stuff that keeps you up at night. The last three years we've focused on the Dawns. Because it is a forming community, there are multiple dogs there, multiple dogs are dumped there, multiple dogs are given to domestics there. With the unchecked breeding, there are, sometimes it feels more dogs than humans there. The community of the Dawns face a lot of challenges in, just from a poverty perspective, it's very hand to mouth. On the same level, the pet is treated just like the children, just like the family, it eats with them, it sleeps next to them. It's, it is an integral part of their family life, so it means a lot to them to have their pet. For me, the love isn't missing, the food isn't missing, it is literally access to vet care. The biggest difference Cywalk Specials is making is empowering their owners. Even if yourself had a dog that had nine puppies, you'd have ten animals to feed, you wouldn't do a good job of it, you wouldn't be able to afford it, and then you just become a bad owner. With our sterilisation and our vet care, most houses now have a sterilised animal that's inoculated, dewormed, had tick and flea treatment, is healthy, has a kennel. The owners understand what to feed it because we do education with them. And so now the few houses that have sick animals are embarrassed. A big thing we've started in the Dawns which has really, really helped is working in the schools with the children. We partner with Underdog and they basically run behaviourist courses. Instead of that family having a dog every six months, a new dog every six months because they don't survive, that dog will live for seven, eight years, maybe longer, and there's no need for puppies, there's no need for that constant new breeding to happen. We've worked respectfully with the community, we've enabled them, empowered them, and we'll only take a dog away if it is active abuse. Currently, Sawak Special's main needs is funds. We basically save up till we have enough to run a mass sterilisation. We invite all the township animals in and we sterilise as many animals as we can in that time period. And for us right now, that's what we're wanting to lean on, stay focused on, is mass sterilisation because people cannot afford the animal they have, never mind for it to have puppies or kittens. Prevention of cruelty is much better than sort of running around mopping up spilled milk. Care pack, what we call it, where you sterilise a dog, inoculate it, give it dewormer, give it next guard tick and flea treatment. It's like 450 rand, but it literally turns that dog's life around. We are volunteer based 100%. We don't have a shelter, so we don't waste funds on sort of warehousing animals. We're foster based. So the money that we get donated goes straight to the township. There is a mass donor fatigue. People are not donating to their local charities. The animals now more than ever really need South Africa to come together to work for them. We are willing to give everything, we are willing to make every plan, we are willing to risk ourselves to get those dogs and cats the care they need, but we literally can't do it if we don't have the funding.